biology lesson for the uninitiated. Women bleed out of their lower mezzanines once a month and we have to soak up the gush with tampons. But absorb this. Tampons are subject to sales tax in 38 states because they're not classified as medical necessities. No, yeah, but some dandruff shampoos, lip balms, and condoms are. So that means that there's no tax for a horny, flaky, scalped, lizard lip man. <laughs> yeah, but I have to pay an extra 9% to soak up my monthly nightmare on panty street. I really wish you would just say underwear. It's so, so fancy. Panty. Panty. Yeah, so you, I know you hate the word panty. Yeah. In some states, even cotton balls are tax exempt. Qu'est-ce que différence tax code? Paris? Six months of French. Hello. No tax on cotton balls? A tampon is just an orgy of cotton balls climbing up a gym class rope into my crampy vagina. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Tampons are taxed because they are classified as a luxury item. Private jets, uh. infinity pools, uh. tampons. Yes. The height of luxury. These tampon taxes add up to big money for states. Take California, where I currently bleed. Tampon, <laughs> tampon tax revenue is so substantial that here in California, when Governor Jerry Brown had the chance to eliminate it last year, he said the state couldn't afford to lose that revenue. Yeah, no, I could think of better ways to contribute to California's budget, like uh, taxing people who won't shut up about not eating bread. <laughs> I'm not eating it right now. That's what I mean. I love it. I know. I'm so tired of I it. I love talking about it. I, I don't eat bread. Sprout it. I'll do sprout it. The reason tampon taxes are so tough to fight is because periods aren't just full of iron, they're full of shame. Nobody wants to talk about them, even women, even when they're in the safest of safe places. There is something that affects every woman, but none of us uh, really seem to talk about it. It's the period. Oh. No, oh, look, see? Oh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I saw what that is, is like Did shrink it, yeah, in the audience. These that... women look like they're gonna pass out because we're talking about it. The View didn't want to talk about yeah. it. <laughs> A show that spent an entire episode talking about how many pillows you need in your house. How many? 20, I don't know. It's a good number. Look, I get it. We women know what lengths we've gone through to hide the fact that we're on our periods, and sometimes it's not easy. Babe, come back to bed. Hang on. Oh, shit. <laughs> shit. No, 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 no. Go ahead and toss in whatever you got, little lady. No, thank you. Okay. Have you seen Jackie yet? No, not yet. This is my dumping ground, bitch. No! no! Ah! Yeah, keep running, chicken legs, slug bag. So warm. That was terrifying. I know. So scary. That's four days out of my month. Yes. <sighs> Let's make period stigma a part of ancient history, like dial up modems and Will Smith seeming happy. What happened? I don't know what we did Something to you. Will Smith. To him. We need to be able to speak shamelessly about our goopy body catch-up in front of our state governments so that they know when it comes to repealing the tampon tax, we mean business, bloody business. Yes! <laughs>